Uh, today I will talk a little about this uh, little device. It's an ESP8266-01. And it's a small device that has uh, Wi-Fi built in. And it can be programmed with the Arduino IDE. And to make it possible to program it, I bought this uh, development board. And you simply put it into development board like this. But unfortunately this development board isn't too smart because there is no way you can put it into programming mode. You can use it for debugging but not for programming. So I made an extra board. It looks like this and it's a very simple board. It only contains a switch that sets uh, the board in uh, programming mode and this is this switch it connects GPI or zero to ground and if I put it in this it's uh, not connected to ground and here it's connected to ground and it's in programming mode and I also added this little or rather large button and it's uh, to reset the device, the device and I use the reset pin and it connects to ground so if I put it in programming mode and press this reset button I can start programming it but of course I also need to put it into my PC like this and I also put the, the ESP8266 on the top like this it doesn't look too good but at least now I can program it and I will show you how to do that the first thing you need to do is to open the sketch so let's go to open and I will show uh, I have my version of my robot lab installed here and I have version 1876 and that's the first version where you can use uh, ESP8266-01 and you go into that folder and to resource and then to ESP8266-01 and then you can open the sketch so next step is to go to file and preferences because we need to install the uh, board and to be able to install the board you need to have this path and we will also use some parts that are from Adafruit so you also need to have this uh, boards manager URL updated and you separate them with a comma sign so now when that is done you can go to tools and you can go to boards and boards manager and since we are going to install the ESP8266 that's what we're going to search for and here it is it's installed on my machine but you need to install it and then the next step is to select the board and it's important that you do that because the next step won't work unless you have selected the ESP8266 module and you can choose the generic ESP8266 module and now we can go a bit down in this sketch so that you understand why I'm doing what I'm doing what we have here is four libraries that this sketch uses so they need to be installed uh, they includes from here uh, are already installed uh, as default but those libraries are needed to be installed so we go to sketch include library and manage libraries and then we can search for each library it starts with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi and it's already installed in my machine but you need to install it and then we have web server and I'm using 
this web server library and then at last the MDNS library. And um, here it is. Uh, and uh, at last, we need the Arduino JSON. And here we have that one. So now we have all the libraries installed. Before you compile the sketch, you need to change this parameter here to the name of your network Wi Fi. And you need to change this to the name of your Wi-Fi password or the password for your Wi-Fi network. And this name here is the host name for your uh, ESP. So you can also change this name if you want. I press the reset button and then I can start upload. It takes uh, quite a while to compile, so I will skip jump through the compile. And now it's uploading uh, the sketch to the ESP8266. When the upload has been done, you can go to Tools and Serial Monitor, and then you press the change from uh, development mode to normal mode by changing the position of the switch then you press reset and now it's starting to connect to my router and now it has connected and it shows the IP address here so now I can go and use this IP address and it will respond. But I can also use this address. And I, will, and I will go to the same place. And the reason is that it's using a multicast DNS. And to be able to use this uh, host name, you need to install something called uh, Bonjour and the link here is in uh, the sketch and it will make you make it possible for you to use uh, multicast DNS and you, if you use Linux you have to install Avaii And if you have a Mac, you're lucky, you probably have it installed already. And to use it, you can use uh, any I2C device. Uh, and that's all that uh, the ESP8266 service currently supports. But it supports all the different I2C devices that are in MRL. So for this demo I will use the OLED display and I think you, if you have seen my earlier videos you remember what the result was when I was using it from an Arduino or from a Raspberry Pi and now I'm using it over Wi-Fi to an ESP8266. So I start this script So now I'm starting the script and the logo shows up, Airfruit Industries, now it starts to scroll. And here comes the logo from my robot lab. 
and uh, an eye. So this is the same sketch as uh, I have tested with with the Arduino and the same sketch as I tested with the Raspberry Pi. And you can use any I2C device like the Adafruit server driver or one of the IMUs like uh, BNO 055 or MQ6050 or the ADS1115 um, AD converter or the I2C mugs. Uh, yeah, lots of things to choose between.